What is going on my lions? Welcome. I'm excited today because we are going to talk about the seven rules of product research. And I know there's a lot of things that I talk about about product research, but I think it's one of the most important things and I want to give you guys as much information as possible so you can make the best decision possible for your products when you're selling on Amazon. And that's the point guys. My point is to save you time. Um, learn from my mistakes that I've made, learn from the mistakes that my gurus have made and learn from the mistakes that my mentors have actually shared with me and I want to share that with you guys. So, seven key rules that you can never ever ignore when you're doing product research for you to land a perfect product with Amazon FBA guys, okay? Ready? Let's start with number one. So the first thing is knowing your numbers and knowing what you're looking for guys. So. Data never lied to you. Data is one of the main things and numbers that are one of the main things that actually helps us with our Amazon FBA business. And products like Vitalon, Jungle Scout, Helium 10 provide this data for us and that will help us to really nail down what the historical performance of this product is that we're trying to get into. So never ever negate that. Invest in a product like uh, uh, Vital Launch or Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout, guys, $97. You get a full year subscription of a Chrome extension and you just attach it to your Chrome. It gives you the back end data of the sales. So it gives you reviews. It gives you how many units are your competitors are selling a day, a month, what their revenue is, and all that good information. And which one is FBA seller, which one is not an FBA seller, and all that kind of stuff. The historical data will really help you guys decide what this product is gonna look like. The second thing is basically what we kind of touched on the first point is getting the right tools. You would never go to a war without having the proper ammunition. So like, think about it guys, any war that happens in the world, do you think they just grab a gun and go? No, there are months of preparation that takes place before they actually deploy. There is like, uh, they get the right tools, they get the right ammunition, they send out the planes first, they make sure all the right equipment is there before they can actually go fight the war. And you gotta learn something from that in business as well. You gotta be well prepared. You gotta get the tools that will ensure and guarantee your success, right? You're not gonna just go into something blindly and expect amazing results. That's just not gonna happen, guys. So make sure you get the right tools when you're going to war. That is Amazon FBA. The third thing is go wide or go home. What do I mean by that? Think of Amazon as a sales funnel, right? It's a funnel, it's like this. And it basically, you gotta get as much information and products right here. And then through data and analysis, you're gonna narrow down and zoom in on the product that you want. That is gonna be the winner. So always go wide. Don't just go with the first product that you find. Don't just go with like, okay, numbers are looking great and I'm done. No, guys. The best thing is to have a funnel. When a salesperson, right? I've worked with organizations with a sales team. They never had um, 10 opportunities and then expecting all of them to close. That's just not gonna happen. If funny thing, 10%, seven to 10% of the opportunities or the products that you're gonna bring in are gonna be successful. So do your research get as much as possible, start wide, get as much product as possible because that is gonna also help you to launch your second and third product because you have all these products in your funnel. Go wide, do not zoom in on one niche or one specific area. So if you're going baby products, go baby products. Don't just go, okay, I'm gonna go find sippy cups and I'm gonna sell that and I'm gonna sell the best one. No, go baby products. Look for sippy cups, look for milk bottles, look for bottle cleaners, look for towels, look for diapers, look for uh, pacifiers. You see so many products in the area. So just go wide and then zoom in on the product based on your analysis. The fourth, and I think it's one of the most important things, it has caused me to fail in one of my products that I was doing before Amazon and that was selling art. And um, I'm an artist as well by profession, uh, by my education as well. So I was selling paintings, but that is not a niche or a need. And I was emotionally attached and I started investing money in it and all that, only to find out that it is not as popular or it is not gonna sell as good as it could somewhere else. So 
I stopped doing that. I realized that one of the important lessons I learned is that to leave emotions at the door. When you are selling on Amazon, please do not sell products that you're absolutely passionate about. It's okay to be passionate about, about the products if there is backup data to support that it is going to be profitable. But leave your emotions out of this. If you are making, let's say you're really passionate about um, what have you, uh, decorative items or party favors or whatever it is, don't get into it if it's not profitable. Don't just get into it because you really want it to succeed. Because what's going to happen is, even if the numbers look bad in some areas, you're going to ignore the hell out of it. You're going to ignore it and you're just going to focus on the positives, right? And then once you focus on the positives, you're blinded to hold this like research that has been done, historical data proving that it is not going to work, right? And on top of that, you're going to launch your product and you're going to invest advertising dollars to make it a success because you really want this product to happen for you. So leave emotions at the door. Do not bring them in. If you bring them in, I guarantee you guys, you are 90% bound to fail in Amazon. Okay. Number five, always dig deeper. Even if you've done your research, dig a little deeper, dig a little deeper. It's like clicking in. You, let's say you find your product, right? You found a 10 products that you know are successful. Do your Jungle Scout, okay? Once you do your Jungle Scout Chrome extension and you realize what the, or you see what the data is and you know it's a profitable product, dig a little deeper, right? Research a little more on the internet to see what people are saying about this product. Read some reviews. Read some like historical stuff that's happening. Like example, like for example, you gotta do a SWOT analysis. So you gotta find out the strengths and weaknesses of your product figure out like the market that you're selling what is happening in that market what is socially happening what is uh, politically happening in that market what is trending in that market all kinds of stuff that could impact the sales of your product what is your product made of like especially if you're selling to USA and you're bringing products from China you probably know about the tariffs that Donald Trump is putting on right so you got to realize how much money you're going to spend paying duties and stuff how is it going to impact your product? So it may look profitable right now, but when you do research and you realize the rest of the stuff that's happening in the world, you will soon realize that it might not be as profitable as you thought it might. Again, guys, this goes back to uh, your research and getting the right tools and everything, which is due diligence. Is that number six, guys? Make sure you do your research. So that includes making sure that it's not patented, making sure that the copyrights are in play, if there are copyrights on your product, making sure that if it's actually seasonal, all kinds of stuff that could impact your sales on Amazon FBA. So doing your due diligence is absolutely important. And the number seven that I talked to you guys about in the previous video is differentiation. You always, always, always have to differentiate your product. I would not launch a product if I can't differentiate it. If I know that if you can think of anything that or something that could differentiate your product, what does that tell you guys? Even if it shows this profitable, don't sell it. Do not get into it. Always, always make sure to differentiate. And one of the ways that we differentiate is to combine it with other relatable items or products that we can sell that I've talked to you guys about in the previous video. So watch that video if you want more information on differentiation. That's it guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate your viewership. We're gonna get into some more details of these points in the next few videos and I hope that this will really um, enlighten you guys in product research and what it actually takes to sell on Amazon. And guys, I know this is a lot of information but my goal is to give you guys as much information as possible because one of the things that I've noticed with a lot of Guru's courses and stuff is that it's just basic information, how to do this, how to do that set it up like this but it doesn't really teach you how to think critically how to really analyze the situation and i want you guys to when you go in you have all the tools equipped to succeed in this business thanks again i really appreciate it subscribe hit the bell button make sure you like and comment on this video i really appreciate it and i would love to hear from you guys thank you bye